Hello everyone and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. Today we're back on that Amy grind with 2018 Amy 2, problem number 8. And this is part 4 in our DP table series. And so in the previous three parts we tackled other Amy questions from uh, 2018 Amy 1 and 2016 Amy 2. And if you haven't seen them yet, then I urge you to check them out. But basically we established that a DP table was an easy way for us to keep track of recursion in problems. And that would efficiently solve the problem in a quick time. And we want to solve Amy problems quickly because during the real competition, we have a time limit. And so if we can optimize a problem and solve it quicker, then that would be good for us. So this problem reads, a frog is positioned at the origin of the coordinate plane. From the point x, y, the frog can jump to any of the points x plus 1, y, x plus 2, y, x, y plus 1, or x, y plus 2. Find the number of distinct sequences of jumps in which the frog begins at 0, 0, and ends at 4, 4. So, uh, the first thing we see here is that we have this recursion condition. We have that the frog can jump to any of the points x plus 1, y, x plus 2, y, x, y plus 1, or x, y plus 2. Well, what does that mean? That means if you're on 0, 0, you can get to uh, 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2 in one move. But we don't want to count like that because that would lead to lots of casework. And we don't want casework in this problem because even though the limits are small, if 4, 4 was replaced by like something like 8, 8, then it would be very bad. So instead of using this x plus 1, y, x plus 2, y, x, y plus 1, or x, y plus 2, we want to consider how we can get to a specific point. Say we want to get to um, 2, 2. How do we do that? Well, we have to, we can either go from 2, 0 to 2, 2, 2, 1 from 2, 2, 0, 2 to 2, 2, or 1, 2 to 2, 2. And that means f of 2, 2 is basically equal to f of 2, 1 plus f of 2, 0, plus f of 0, 2, plus f of 1, 2. And basically, we're just using the previous 2x and the previous 2y to get to our new destination. And so we can generalize this recursion to see that f of x, y is equal to f of x minus 1, y, plus f of x minus 2y plus f of x y minus 1 plus f of x y minus 2. And so with this, we can easily figure out the number of ways to get to 4, 4. And we just have to fill out this grade as we go, since we have to keep track of pretty much all the entries to get to the next ones. So. Let me just erase all of this. And basically, now we can just fill in the grid in a sort of systematic way in which we go, um, we can fill out the first row, then the second row, then the third row, then the fourth row, and so on. So the number of ways to get to one zero is equal to the, the number of ways to get to zero zero from negative one, zero, zero, negative uh, one, negative one, and one, negative two. Of course, we can't get to any negative points, and so we only care about the number of ways to get from 0, 0 to 1, 0, which is 1. And since there's only technically one way to get to 0, 0, since you start off there. And then for 2, 0, it's equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. For 3, 0, it's equal to 2 plus 1, which is 3. And for 4, 0, it's equal to 3 plus 2, which is 5. And I'm not considering the f of x, y minus 1, and f of x, y minus 2 here, because they're not part of our grid, and we don't have to consider them. So moving on to the second row, we have that 0, 1 is equal to the number of ways to get from 0, 0, and then 0, negative 1, and then um, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 1. Of course, we don't care about the negative, so we just have 1. And the number of ways to get to 1, 1 is equal to the previous 2x and the previous 2y. So we don't care about negative, so it's just 1 plus 1, which is 2. And then to get to um, 2, 1, it's equal to 2 plus 1 plus 2, which is 5. And then 3, 1 is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 3, which is uh, 10. And then 4, 1 is 10 plus 5 plus 5, which is 20. 
Now for 0, 2, we have just 1 plus 1, which is 2. 1, 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 1, which is 5. And then 2, 2 is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2, which is 14. 3, 2 is equal to 14 plus 5 plus 10 plus 3, which is 32. And 4, 2 is equal to 32 plus 14 plus 20 plus 5, which is um, 71. And then for 0, 3, it's just 2 plus 1, which is 3. For 1, 3, it's just uh, 0, or it's just 3 plus 5 plus 2, which is 10. For 2, 3, it's equal to 10 plus 3 plus 14 plus 5, which is 32. And for 3, 3, it's equal to 32 plus 10 plus 32 plus 10, which is 84. And then for 4, 3, it's equal to um, 84 plus 32 plus 71 plus 20. And that's equal to 91 plus 84 plus 32, which is 175 plus 32, which is 207. Uh, yeah. And then for 0, 4, it's equal to 3 plus 2, which is 5. For 1, 4, it's equal to 5 plus 10 plus 5, which is 20. For 2, 4, it's equal to 20 plus 5 plus 32 plus 14, which is 71. For 3, 4, it's equal to 71 plus 20 plus 84 plus 32, which is 207. And for 4, 4, which is what we want, it's equal to 207 plus 71 plus 207 plus 71, which is equal to 278 times 2, which is 456. So we've quickly optimized our recursion to find the number of ways to get to 4, 4, given our conditions, and we see that this is equal to 456. We can put 456 in as the answer, move on, and we're done with this problem. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and spread to your friends. Um, we still have more parts in our DB tables. Uh, we're, we're probably going to have about seven parts since there were lots of problems in recent Amy's that relied on uh, that could be solved with DB tables very quickly. And also, if you want another topic to be covered, such as complex numbers or number theory, uh, just put it down in the description and we'll consider covering videos on that topic on Amy level. Or even if you want just AMC level, we can do that too. Thank you.